to the Today's Girls. Welcome to the primary YouTube channel if you guys haven't been here before. Um, Activity Days is now going to be posting occasionally on here as a way to do virtual Activity Days. Um, we have an activity in the month of February that I'll be doing a post for later, so stay tuned for that. But today I'm just going to be talking about the Woodsy the Owl poster competition that we were invited to join um, in with our local garden club and a little bit about who Woodsy the Owl is and what he's all about as well as um, basically the rules and guidelines to this poster challenge. So, so I'm just going to dive right in and start telling you about him. This is Woodsy the Owl. He is America's original and official environmental icon. Um, he was created in 1971, which makes him 50 years old today. Not today, but this year. <laughs> um, Woodsy's goal is to inspire others to actively care for the environment. His main message is to lend a hand and care for the land. And he motivates children to form a healthy, lasting relationship with nature. Um, some of the things that Woodsy encourages is to renew, reuse, recycle, and Woodsy the Owl, the idea is to give us, like, through participating in his activities, to give us opportunities to appreciate the environment and hopefully stimulate a desire to participate in conservation of natural resources. Now, if you don't want natural, know what natural resources are, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and if you already do know what that is, great job. Uh, this will be a refresher. So, maybe some of you guys don't really know what conservation is. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit and then I'm going to talk about what it means to be conserving natural resources and what natural resources are. So conservation is the protection of things found in nature. Conservation requires making sensible decisions about Earth's natural resources like water, soil, minerals, wildlife, and forests. People who care about conservation try to preserve natural resources so that they will still be around in the future. Um, so there are two types of natural resources. One is renewable and the other is non-renewable. Um, renewable means that they can be replaced. So things like living objects that grow and replenish. Um, so that would be plants and animals. Those are examples of renewable resources uh, because they can reproduce themselves. But renewable resources, just because they can re reproduce themselves, doesn't mean that they can't diminish and be depleted. So um, we want to be careful that we don't overuse those things and um, conserve them. So living things such as plants and animals are examples of renewable resources because they can reproduce themselves. But just because they're renewable doesn't mean that they can't be damaged or destroyed. So for example, you might catch too many of one type of fish. And if there's not enough fish left to reproduce, that fish might die out. Conservation helps people manage renewable resources so that they keep in good supply. Um, other resources are non-renewable resources, which means they cannot be replaced. Fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum oil are examples of non-renewable resources. Um, minerals such as iron or ore are non-renewable resources as well. And people can conserve non-renewable resources by using them carefully. Um, so that is the difference between renewable and non-renewable and those are some examples. Now can any of you guys guess what the most important natural resource is? I'll give you a hint. It's in here. <laughs> and it is water. Um, water is one of Earth's most important natural resources. Think of all the things you use water for. Um, to list off a few, drinking, cooking, bathing, washing, all is what we use water for on a day-to-day -day basis. It's also used to produce electricity and other manufacturing processes. Um, like, have you ever heard of the Hoover Dam? That is a giant source of water that produces energy for us. Um, people need to be careful about how much water they use and not to waste any. A good example um, 
of you guys that you can do on a daily basis with conserving water is when you're brushing your teeth, don't keep the faucet running and turn it off between brushing and rinsing. Everyone can contribute to conservation in one way or another. People can recycle more objects like paper, plastic, uh, glass, other materials. Recycling saves resources by reusing stuff that would have otherwise been thrown away, like your water bottles or just your you know, printing paper. Um, industries can limit the amount of pollution they create to conserve. Um, governments can make laws to help keep the air and water clean. And they can also set aside land like national parks, which protects the land and animals in their natural state. So hopefully all that talk about conservation has inspired you guys a little bit. Um, I'm going to talk about the poster contest now and some of the rules and give you guys some examples of um, what this could look like, what your poster could look like, or themes to follow in your poster. So um, first thing is your poster must feature Woodsy the Owl. Okay, um, and along with Woodsy the Owl, it has to have his conservation message, which is to lend a hand and care for the land. This is what some examples have looked like. It's got Woodsy the Owl, lend a hand, care for the land. Another one, lend a hand, care for the land with Woodsy the Owl. Lend a hand, care for the land care for the land. Uh, we got a recycling bin here, a garbage bin. They're pre planting some uh, trees it looks like. The animals are happy. Here's another one as well. Um, lend a hand, care for the land. Care for the land. I keep saying that wrong. So save water. See they're planting flowers. Don't do these running water when he's brushing their teeth, when they're brushing their teeth, throwing um, wrong things down the toilet, like trash down the toilet. So they also have Woodsy the Owl. So here's some examples. Um, so things you have to include, like I said, is Woodsy the Owl, as well as his message to lend a hand and care for the land. Um, the entry has to be 11 by 17 inches. Okay, so you could talk to your parents about what that looks like. Um, but it has to be that size. But it can be any color you want it to be, the, pa the material, the paper. Um, you can use crayons, markers, poster paints, watercolors, whatever, um, as your way of putting, like, putting this poster together. Um, the choice of paper color and texture is up to you, okay? It just has to be that 11 by 17 size. And then it has to be flat, so you can cut out things and put it on the poster, whatever, but it just has to be able to lay flat. It can't have pop-ups pop -ups on it. Um, and let's see what else. So there's some stuff that you have to write on the back of the poster, including your name, your address, your home phone number, your grade level, um, and city and state. So since Woodsy the Owl is an official icon protected by law, you have to make sure that the colors and their clothing and his clothing is accurate. Okay, so green hat, red feather on the hat, got the color of his face, color of his beak, color of his eyes, color of his fur. Um, if you don't want to include his whole body, that's fine, but you have to include at least his head. Okay. Um, so make sure that that's accurate so that this can get submitted to the contest. Um, make sure that spelling is, uh, proper, that your spelling is accurate, um, or else it will be disqualified. The deadline for this is February 15th. So, um, you can submit it to either, um, me or Sister Beals, and then we'll get it to the appropriate people in charge. Um, but yeah, have it submitted by the 15th of February so that it can be entered into the contest. If you want to be able to look over the rule sheet, we've texted it out to your parents. Um, so just ask them about that. And if you need it to be sent to you, if your parents lost it or something, that's fine. Just let us know and we can send you the official rule sheet. Um, 
so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this um, and that it inspires you to, you know, have a different mindset when it comes to our earth and conservation of natural resources and just how to take care of the earth so that we as a civilization can keep prospering. Um, so yeah, okay. Stay tuned for February's activity. We'll be doing it virtually um, and you guys can check out the channel and pop on and watch the video whenever you want and do the activity whenever you want. So just stay tuned for that. It'll be fun. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing y'all's submissions, okay? Have a good one. Bye, guys.